What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Now, uh, let's get into this really quickly guys. Uh, I want to talk about your boy Timothy Bradley uh, two division champion uh, Does commentary over on ESPN now he gave his opinion on Errol Spence and the Terrence Crawford and the Canelo Alvarez talk and situation he thinks that Errol has no intentions of fighting Terrence Crawford. And he also thinks that the Canelo Alvarez talk uh, going up to 160 to face him at 160 is basically just a money grab, uh, cash out type fight. Now, I did a video on why I thought Errol shouldn't go up to 160 and face Canelo Alvarez. So I invite you guys to go check that video out. Now, let's, let's tackle both of those points. Let's start with the Canelo Alvarez situation. Is it a cash out? I, I think it possibly could be a cash out if, you know, that's what he's looking at. You know, that would be a huge money fight. You know, th the pay-per-view would be through the roof. I'm sure if they had that fight in Texas, it would sell out. Uh, you're fighting one of the biggest fighters in the world, the name. Uh yeah, I could see that, you know, I, I could see that being a cash out fight. Uh, do I think Errol would win that fight? Uh, I have my doubts. I don't think Errol can beat Canelo. I think he's too big, too strong. And I, I said that in my previous video about why, you know, Errol shouldn't go up there. Now, the other situation with Terrence Crawford, he said he thinks that Errol has no intentions of fighting Terrence. Now, I, I don't believe that. I think that, you know, there's so many options on the PBC side and, you know, Errol's playing the, you know, that game, you know, the, the, the I have the leverage game, basically. Uh, you have so many fighters to choose from on PBC. You know, you have the Pacquiao fight, if he can get that. If he can't get the Pacquiao fight, it's Ugas, he's a champion. Uh, you can revisit the Sean Porter uh, fight. And you know the stuff, the talk about the uh, A side, B side stuff. So he's he's playing the leverage game, and and that's to be ex expected. You know, it's a part of the sport. Even though a lot of fans don't really like that type of stuff, it's just uh, the nature of the game. Uh, I think he will eventually face Terence Crawford because that's a legacy fight. It's a legacy fight, and 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 let's face facts. You know, both of these guys have egos. You know, they're both great fighters. You know, that the, the ego comes with that. So that's something we're going to have to deal with. But I think once they actually sit down at the table and work things out, we will get the fight. We may not get it right away like we want to, but I think the fight will happen. So with point A, uh, I agree with Timothy Bradley. I, I think that's a cash out fight. You know, Errol said he's not going to be doing this forever. So, uh, why not have a cash out fight uh, with the biggest name in boxing? And but I don't agree with point B uh, that he said about him not having any intentions on facing Terence Crawford. I think I think he I think he does want that fight. I think he does. But like I said, he's he's playing the game, and, and you know that. That's how business is, you know, the leverage game. So we're just going to have to wait a little bit longer before we get that fight. But uh, tell me what you guys think about the situation. Uh, do you believe Earl wants to fight uh, uh, Terrence Crawford? Uh, do you believe he's running from Terrence Crawford? Do you think he wants to fight Canelo as a cash out? Let me know in the comment section, guys. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.